What's up y'all? I'm getting ready for a photo shoot today with my friend Colleen. We'll be doing a cloud inspired photo shoot. I'm going to be doing my hair right now and filming today because I just love remembering these little shoots that I get to do. Remember all the looks that I got to recreate. So right now I'm doing my hair and um, Hopefully I get it done before she gets here because I gotta do her makeup and hair. I find that in this season, I haven't really been doing my makeup too often because I work a lot. So yeah, I'm going to put my extensions on, so I'll be right back. All right, so I saw this super cool hair tutorial, so I'm gonna try it out. I don't know if this ribbon is long enough but we're gonna roll with it. I don't have any more ribbons, so yeah, we're just gonna, this is the longest piece I have. So take it, put it through a little hole, and bring it down, and then I guess just start wrapping it. Oh wait, no, I forgot. <clears throat> I forgot to braid my hair. Okay, I'm gonna do that first. I wish I knew how to maintain hair extensions. It's already looking a little better when I braid it. That's why I just try to use it with different hairstyles, like braided hairstyles, so that I don't have to trash them. Cool. Now this side, my friend Colleen is on her way right now. We will be getting into the makeup portion pretty soon. See, it looks so much more clean. Okay, taking the ribbon, putting it through a little hole, like this. Oh yeah, this is not gonna go all the way down, but that's okay. And just wrapping it around. We might have to get away with doing it a couple times. and then probably take another ribbon and then put it through a hole again and try to bring it all the way down. That is so cute. Might take another ribbon and like wrap it around a little bit more. I kind of like the ribbon looking a little so I'm gonna take a shorter ribbon. I have all sorts of sizes because I've been really getting into the ribbon look in here. I'm gonna wrap this around. It's just so cute. And I've never seen hairstyles like this before. So I'm really into it. It's so cute. All right, now we're gonna take this is the longest ribbon, I believe. I'm gonna take that. I still have to do my makeup, so hopefully I can get it done quick. She is already on her way. I'm only gonna do like a little design on the front of my face. So I probably shouldn't take too long. I notice with photo shoots, I'm always like <laughs> unpro- Oh shit, girl. This is a good beginner friendly hairstyle because I've been wanting to get into doing my hair a little bit more. These like ribbon hairstyles have been very creative and like cute to do. This is the hairstyle. Now we're gonna get started on the makeup. Maybe I won't do a talk through for this one just because I have to look at the reference picture. So, I'm just gonna do my face makeup right now. Hey. Do you like some music? I'm down. You can connect to my speaker if you like. What are we feeling today? 
summery happy vibe. Hey. So this look that I'll be doing on Miss Cool Cat Colleen is a rhinestone jeweled makeup look. I had her come with her base makeup already done and I just got started from there. Through this process, I'm just taking individual gems that I found at a store called Daiso, which by the way, was super affordable. Their stuff is like $1.50, so I grabbed as many packs of jewels that I could. I'm using some clear lash glue and very carefully placing them each on the center of her face in the shape of a butterfly. I would recommend using the proper tools to place individual gems if you're working on this look for yourself. I just didn't know what kind of tool would work best, so I'm just winging it to the best of my ability. If you don't happen to have the right tool, my advice would be to let the glue dry for a couple seconds, but not let it get too tacky so that you can just place the jewel on your face and slide it into its proper position. And just use a q-tip to wipe off any residual glue. The glue is important so that the gems stay in place longer and become more durable. Now for the hair, I asked her to pull them up into two ponytails and I just began to braid them. I found this hairstyle that uses yarn for bows, so freaking cute guys. I'm parting her hair into two parts, one for a large bubble braid and the second for a thinner regular braid. To do a bubble braid, you will just use a small elastic and tie it a couple inches below the hair tie and repeat that under each elastic. How far apart you tie the elastic will determine how big your bubble braid will be. I decided to make them medium sized. Once all elastics are tied, you can tug on the hair to create a bigger bubble. After the braiding was done, I took eight pieces of pink yarn that were equal lengths and tied them both at the top and bottom of all braids and that completes the look. Hands up, hands high,